Good morning, boys and girls. I wrote to you in your writing assignment today that you should probably split screen or share screens. So I wanna to explain to you what that would look like. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to open up both documents that you would like to share the screen. I'm going to open up yesterday's graphic organizer. So if I open that up, I'm going to go ahead and just open up mine. Mine is blank because I'm the teacher, but that's okay. So I would like this open and I'll go back to this other tab. I would also like to open up today's work, which is actually getting started on writing. So if I open up this, you'll see up top. I can, once this gets out of my way, I can go back and forth between the two different documents. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over to this right hand and it says restore down. That means it's just not going to take up the whole screen. I had other stuff open and that's why I had to just minimize it. But now I'm going to have a smaller screen and I'm actually going to make two screens. I'm going to click this and drag it and let go. So now what I can do is I have these two different windows. I can actually resize them and reshape them. What I want to happen is I want to get them to two smaller sizes where I could see both at one time. So this way, if I have my planning and it tells me what I'm going to write for my catchy hook, I don't have to flip back and forth. I can see it as I type on over here. So this is one strategy you could do. If you don't do that, then you will see that when you have your screen, you're simply going to have to flip back and forth. You'll click this tab and say, well, what did I want to write again? You'll look at it, and then you'll flip back here. You'll look at it, and you'll flip back here. So they both work, but personally, I like having two things up at once. It makes it a little bit easier. Remember, you should not be writing your essay if it is not completely planned out first. You need to know all of your reasons to include in that introduction. So if you did not finish your planning yesterday, pulling out your evidence from the articles, copy and pasting it, then you need to finish this first before you start writing. Please, please, please keep that in mind. Good luck and I will see you later.